Hello guys and girls, voices from the dark here, welcome at long last to Bloodborne. I have played through Dark Souls 1, 2 and 3 and done all the DLC and all the content, but I never got around to doing Bloodborne because I didn't own a PS4. But now that situation has been remedied and we can dive into what a lot of Souls players say is the best game in the Soulsborne series. So we'll see if there's some truth to that. As you might know, I prefer playing offline for my first playthrough. I don't summon for bosses, I don't invade. I just stay offline because I'm an antisocial kind of guy. I have never played Bloodborne. Wait, what do you mean it's not been fully installed? You're not going to start installing a game on me, are you? That'd be real, real mean. Let's see, system. Controls. Looks good if something's not there. I've been wanting to play this for a long time and I've not had the ability to. I am semi-blind to this game. I've seen some bosses here and there. I've downloaded the soundtrack and used it in a lot of my content, so I know I know the soundtrack fairly well. So I know some boss names and such, but overall... This is going to be a new, fun experience. Let's go! That's good brightness, gotta love it. Yeah, those settings, I was just at them. Oh, yeah. Pale blood. <laughs> well, you've come to the right place. Yarnum is the home of blood ministration. You need only unravel its mystery. But where's an outsider like yourself to begin? Easy, with a bit of yarn and blood of your own. But first, you'll need a contract. Okay, woo, look at that, we're Dracula. So, from what I gathered, Bloodborne is a lot more focused on a fast pace. It's not as much high behind your shield. I don't even know if there are proper shields in this game. Please enter a name. So for Dark Souls 1, we first made a male. We made Sarthar. Then we made Ember, who was a female. Then in Dark Souls 2, we made Drexnamus, who was male. Then in Dark Souls 3, we made an arena, who was female. So I think it's... It's male time again. But what did we call him? Can I skip the name and just focus on making him first? Maybe the name will come to me. Age, young, mature, aged. No, we're gonna be a young, a young, beautiful man. Origin, milk toast, ordinary, happy upbringing, all attributes average. Lone survivor, high life essence and vigor. Troubled childhood, suffered misfortune in youth, highly resilient as a result. Violent past, terribly violent path. Past, rash but stronger for it. Professional, born specialist, fit for sleuthing or academia. Military veteran, experiencing war, a soldier with strength and skill. So this is like choosing a class then. Noble scion, scion to a respectable line with faith in your pedigree. Cruel fate, faced terrible hardships but now confident in your purpose. Or waste of skin, you are nothing talentless, you shouldn't have been born. Well isn't this just uplifting everybody? So, vitality, endurance... Skill, strength, so I assume that skill is like dex. Arcane might be magic, like intelligence. Violent past gives us a lot of strength. Less blood echoes to play with, but... I'm kind of tempted to do a violent past. I mean, military veteran looks good too, you just get like an even mix. I kind of want... I mean, violent past is kind of cool. Yes! Violent past! Apparent, so... Is this game gonna be any better than the other Souls games when it comes to adjusting? Ooh, let me hear. Ah, let's go youthful. Build. Let's do it like me. Let's let's see if we can make me. We gotta do we gotta do slim here. Scale adjustments. Head. Do I have a big head? Oh boy. Hair, brow, and beard color. That's all good. What beard? Oh! Oh, the beards. Mm. Yes. Ooh. I like. Because it doesn't like fully connect. Although it's awfully pixelated. 
We gotta get ourselves something majestic. Something really majestic. I mean, that's... That's... But it doesn't connect all the way up to his... It doesn't, it doesn't connect properly. Well, I can't get something that's 100% accurate. Neither of these beards actually start going up to the, the hair on the heads. That, but that's that's pretty good actually. Then we need to get a ginger beard. There we go. Get that ginger. It's just it just needs to have like a slight ginger tint to it. So let's just get like a. I got some distinct dark eyebrows. Anything that would fit that mold. So aggressive. Oh my. We haven't even gotten to the hairstyle. I was just fairly happy with the one that was there. Anything that looks better. Oh jeez, does that mean a few years? Maybe. Oh, I wish I had that luscious hair. Unfortunately, that's not how it is. Oh wow! Oh wow, um, hey, you never know, maybe I should consider a new style. Kind of like this one. It's not, it's not 100%, but it's, 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 pre it's close enough. Eyelashes, no, we don't need to focus on those. Pupils, decisive pupils. No, he looks great, it's a similar eye color to mine too. I have like a green gray. Let's see, maybe I can change the. I can just adjust the greenness like just a tad. That's good. Tattoo or mark? I don't have any, but it's never stopped me before. Oh, it's perfect! I didn't know you could get glasses. That is so cool. Okay. Okay, do we do we wanna do we wanna get accepted into Hogwarts? Or do we wanna take over the Matrix? Like this is Oh man. Mmm. Mmm, yes, quite exquisite. Oh yes. It's 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 a me, Kalio. Color of the glasses, like the, the frame themselves? Oh gosh, no, they can stay black, please. That's good. Alright, save that to favorites. Okay. That's good. Look at that! It's me, ready to explore the Bloodborne world. Having to type in the name on a controller. Whee! Okay. Let's make some sort of variation of Carl. Mmm, yeah, Sir Carlicus. My imagination is really bad. Sir Carlicus, mmm, Sir Carlicus the first. Ready to explore. Mmm, we had a violent pass though. So Carlicus, you yeah, ready to fuck some shit up? Okay. Let's go, Sir Carlicus. Hehe. <laughs> I don't want to spend forever in character creation. I just sort of want to get into it and feel the gameplay, really. That's what I'm excited about, because people keep saying that it's much more fast paced than Dark Souls. So I wonder if I can adapt to it. We defeated every boss in the original game, so let's see if we can do this one too. Good. All signed and sealed. Now, let's begin the transfusion. Oh, don't you worry. Whatever happens, you may think it all a mere bad dream. That's reassuring. Thank you, old man. Looks like we're waking up. Ready to go exploring. Bet the old guy's not here anymore. Yep. That's okay. Come on. Oh. Oh, hello. No, it's a little early for this. You see, I would like to actually get playing the game before we throw myself into the hands of vicious beasts. You see, I'm quite busy, Sir Carlicus has places to be. What the frick? Caught on fire just getting near me. I'm that hot, huh? Oh, shouldn't be surprised. What the fudge? What? Ew! Ew! Oh! Mmm, your face looks like a body part. Please, no! Yeah, I hate these dreams. They're the worst. 
Ah, you found yourself a hunter. A hunter? I'm a hunter. I just, I love how, like, it looks like I'm wearing jeans. Like, I am wearing jeans, you know? It's like it's a Dark Souls game, but you wear jeans. Alright, so we still have rolling. Same as usual. Square is use items. Triangle is also use an item. And this appears to be to pull out something. That's that punch. That's this punch. Yeah, punch it all! It's a note here. Handwritten scrawl, seek pale blood to transcend the hunt. Oh, <gasps> bitch Mac! Oh my gosh, if I meet somebody, mm, they're getting the schmack. They're getting the schmack down from Sir Carlicus. You don't mess with them. Uh, that's right. I don't care about science. I am Sir Carlicus. Let's see, inventory. Where would the equipment be? Do we go into... Oh, so we just changed that here. We don't go into an optional menu. Oh man, look at this beautiful man. Mm -mm -mm. So we're wearing some foreign gear right now. Solid bandages. Alright, we'll wear it. I wonder, can we be faster if we don't have it? That feels like it's faster. No, it's it's probably the same. It's probably the same. I'm just seeing things. Does not open from this side. Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go. Same old sprinting. What about jumping? Yeah. Can you jump both ways? No, you gotta do the old Dark Souls 1 jump. Maybe you can change that in the settings. Ah, it doesn't matter a lot. I can do that most of the time. Let's go, Sir Colicus. We have a world to explore. A wondrous world of wonder. What's that? Few notes. Oh, thanks. Thanks, guys. R1 attack. Yeah, it's the bitch mac. If I don't like you, you're getting smacked. Ugh. Lock on, release target. Yep. Same old, same old. I, I hear somebody. Do they need a smack? I can smack. God, I think I angered it. Oh, You know how in Dark Souls, you exit your cell and you can fight a few helpless hollows that can't fight back, ever? They made Bloodborne, they were like, NO! You fight the big boys, the beasts, beast boys. Are you a beast boy? Oh, he's hurt though. I mean... Do you think I can backstab him or do a critical hit? I know you can do it with your fists, usually. Oh shit! Oh! Alright! Smack time! Uh oh! I do two damage! I need a weapon! I need a weapon! Help me! Oh gosh. Ugh! Smack! Oh boy. Well this is a bad idea. Alright, I'm, I'm coming back once I got a weapon! Okay, we're dead. You died! Well, that's the first death. Let's keep a death counter for this one. I thought I would do a bit more damage than two, but okay. Let's go find a weapon first, I think. <laughs> Wait, were you supposed to die? But I wanted to explore more. I wanted to explore the rest of that place. Oh, maybe they assumed you would die. Aw, I'm sad to live up to their expectations. All right. Hunter's dream. What are those scary skeleton babies doing? Yarnum headstone. Awaken at a selected location. Select. Ah, so that's fast travel. It's like warping, I suppose. An abandoned. Oh, I thought that was a person. What do you want? A gift? The messenger offers you a trick weapon. Choose one. Trick weapons are wielded with the right hand and employed in beast weapon. And beast hunting. Oh, I get to choose, huh? Okay, so we have the saw cleaver, the hunter axe, or the threaded cane. Well, when it comes to just straight up damage, the hunter axe would be the best. 
It also has a descaling with strength. So let's take the Hunter Axe. Thank you. The messenger offers you a firearm. Choose one. The Hunter Pistol or the Blunderbuss. Blood attack. Why would one... Sh what's better about the Blunderbuss when the other one does so much more damage? I'm sure I figured that out eventually. For now, let's just go with the pistol. And a notebook received from the messengers. Leave messages with these loyal servants to share them with hunters in other worlds. Okay, so it's like a soapstone. Closed. Okay. Arms. Hunter axe. Hunter pistol. And look at that. We're good to go. Let's go slay some fools. Yeah, yeah. I wonder where you see your encumbrance, though. I, I really do wonder if they even have that system in Bloodborne. Trading blood echoes with messengers to buy and sell items. So this is like souls, then. The blood echoes. We have some quicksilver bullets in our inventory. And that appears to be it. Okay. I wonder... We could awaken somewhere. I wonder if that's what we have to do or if we go exploring around the place that's the wonderful oh hello gesture screw you oh so i have to press the i'm still getting used to ps4 control i don't know why they added all these silly things let's see the hunter salutations personal effects is here all right ha ha let's go oh boy you can't cancel those that's bad what now? Transform weapon, transforming attack. Ooh. So you can... So is that the same as like two-handing it? Yes, because the usual two-hands button does something else now. So I guess this is two-handing something. Emergency quicksilver bullet replenishment. Use precaution, performing this action drains HP. I want to try it. Okay, so I can replenish those bullets by hurting myself. Switch weapons. Use item, toggle items. Yeah, we don't have any. So run. Basic stuff, very, very basic stuff, but I need to figure out what's special. Hitting them from behind with the charge attack causes them to stagger. Hold R2. Shooting a fire and will drop to stagger an enemy when properly timed to their attack, okay? R1 next to staggered enemy, visceral attack. Okay. Taking damage from enemy, there's a period of time which attacking the enemy and return will store a certain amount of your HP. Okay, so that's something I should learn. Good stuff. So I should try to charge somebody, stagger them, and then go for the visceral, which I assume is like a critical hit. Closed. Okay. So, I suppose we use the Awaken feature here? First floor sick room. So, do I now go back with the axe and kick the butt of that thing? Alright. Oh, it is on, buddy. Thought you could mess with me? Where is that beast? I actually would want to try out my gun a little. Then again, if I could attack this guy with a charging attack, that'd be pretty good. Aha! Beast! That was a little easier. Oh, so do you have to kill whoever killed you to get your blood echoes back? Oh, that's cool. Bloodstone shard. Oh, I like that. Sorry about that, mister. That's actually a really cool mechanic. Embed in weapon to fortify. Okay. Sacrifice all the blood weco. Okay, so Hunter's Mark is like a dark sign. That's cool. Okay, well, I feel like we can take on things a bit more easily now. What's this? Restore HP. Yeah, that's right. We need blood vials for that. So that's what Triangle does. And he has two of them. Now... They don't regenerate like an Estus Flask with a bonfire, I'm fairly sure. Which is a little... I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna like that mechanic. 
having to reacquire my blood vials by probably grinding some mobs. We'll see. Can't judge it yet. Just have to see how it feels. Hey, candle? For me? Thank you. I appreciate that. Okay, so far so good. Not too many enemies, I can appreciate that. Ten quicksilver bullets. Oh, shh. Did you hear that? Okay, something's walking on the other side of that gate. Is this one closed then? No, I can go here if I want to. Well, that does make me wonder what's behind the other gate. I wonder if I can open it. I, I need to know. Close by the way. Okay. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. I'm not quite up to the task of finding them. Central Yarnum. All right. Make your progress. Too good at this game. Gotta nerf us. More blood vials. I can appreciate. Who's that? Is that a statue? Can I open these? Are these like chests? No, I assume not. Maybe coffins were the new chest of Bloodborne. That's a dead horse. Somebody's around the corner there. Somebody's running up on me. Hello. All right, let's let's party, pal. You want to die? Yeah. Oh, wow. Alright, so... I'm gonna try something out. BAM! A gun in Dark Souls. That's what we like. Can we open this, then? It's also closed by a device. What about this door? It looks way too perfect to be in this world. So immaculate. So clean. Okay, so I assume that this device would then... Oh, hey there, buddy. Whoop, whoop, get out of here. Can we destroy this? We can. Molotov cocktail. <laughs> oh, I really love that they changed the setting for this game so you can play around with, oh wow, different set of items. You know, it's, it's like the Dark Souls base, but it has so many, such a cool setting and so many cool items in it. Oh, what is that? Hold on, nobody attack me. What was that? Somebody weren't too happy about things. Here's somebody. So... These are like bonfires? The lamp now transports you back to the hunter's dream. Upon death, you will awaken at this lamp. Yep. Door does not open. I don't want to go after the coughing. Well, we can't go in there, and I think that's where the coughing's coming from. Pebble? Eight pebbles? Yes, we are rich. What does a pebble do? Could be thrown at targets. That's interesting. There's a Molotov cocktails too. Probably want to put the Molotov cocktails on my slots. In case I want to use them. I can't... Yeah, square to use those. Triangle to use the blood vials. Alright. All right, buddy. I wonder if gun the gun is supposed to be implemented a lot in combat. Like you would shoot somebody, stagger them, and then get a hit in on them. Because it seems like we have plenty of bullets. And I can keep acquiring bullets by hurting myself. Oh, here's the whole village, huh? It's getting me... It's giving me slight Resident Evil 4 vibes. Ban village. Crazed villagers. Maybe I'm the crazed one. Oh, oh wow! Did you see that? Alright. Ah. So I think because I shot him during an attack animation, good stuff happens. Good. Now this is something I got it. Oh, that's a lot of people. Hey noobs! Molotov bitch! Ha! Ah. Gotcha. All right, there's a new boy in town. Say hello to Sir Colicus the first. 
Yes. His intellect is matched only by his dashing good looks. Get out of here. Excuse me. Yeah. It feels quite different from Dark Souls in a lot of respects. No, that was that was too slow on the trigger there. You can die real quick. Oh wow. They can use them too? Oh boy. That actually Yeah, that guy is just has a straight up gun. Uh oh. Blah! Blah! Okay, got him. Quick silver bullets. Can only carry 20 at a time, it seems. Oh, hey there. Oh, wow. He was staggered. I probably have to then go up to him like this. And actually move on him. Because I don't have that great of a range, really. Especially not when my weapon is like this. Okay, do we go here? Do we keep exploring over here? Let me just make sure that we didn't miss anything in this direction. Oh, hello? Last you come up. You'd open a door on a night of hunt. Away with you. Now. Oh come on. Last you come up. The night of the hunt. Okay. Now it was said that I was a hunter. Hmm. Well, I guess people aren't gonna let me in. That's fine. This is around the area where I heard that creature. Oh, what? Excuse me, what? All right, we gotta go kill that guy. There's no two ways about it. Excuse me, sir. I have an interest in killing you. Oh. Bullets don't damage him, huh? Alright. Okay, I don't do nearly enough damage. Oh boy. I was chipping away at the guy. We're probably not meant to be killing him at this stage. He's probably one of the slightly tougher guys you can go for if you really feel like... Oh, wait, can I open this? Hold on. Excuse me. Oh, thank you. He's like, yeah, sure. Just get that. This is gonna open up the gate over here. Which means I have nothing to lose by attacking you! I missed. Ugh. Oh, wow. Wait, now I do some more damage. The other time I just did 10, and... Why do I sometimes do a lot of damage, and other times not do a lot of damage? Ugh. I'm not quite sure why it works like that. Blood vial. What were you guarding? It has to be something good, right? There can't just be nothing over here. Like, what are chests supposed to look like? Are they coffins? I don't want to be walking past things. So he's just chilling over there for no particular reason, then. Okay. Fine with me. So now we can go over here. We made our way around. Wonderful stuff. Let's go further up here and say hello to the villagers. I think there's more of them coming up. Oh! Ding dong, ding dong. Oh, hey. Molotovs. Hello? Are you that outsider? Well, sorry, but I don't want anything to do with you. Trot along, will ya? Sir Carlicus does not appreciate your rudeness. Hello? You that outside. Ah. Sir Carlicus is getting no respect in this place. An esteemed man like himself. Oh. B -b boy. Well, guys and girls. Bloodborne sure turning out to be an interesting game. Sir Carlicus and his giant axe will be back in the next episode to continue hunting down these fools. And that's that's a lot of people. It looks to be a lot more fast paced and I'm really interested to see how the mechanic of this game 
are going to turn out. So, I hope you enjoyed the first episode, and that you will tune in to the next one. Have a still good day, take care, and stay awesome. But most importantly, everybody, stay dark. Goodbye.